the one thing that I've learned from coaching hundreds of men and talking to a lot of women about dating advice is that 95% of guys suck in bed. It's really true. It's amazing. I didn't realize this until I had talked to women about this. But what I want to do is I want to create this video to give you five really important tips that are going to help you to become a top 5% guy in the bedroom and so that you won't have this problem. So the very first thing that you need to understand is that you need to take it slow. Women do not operate the same way that men do. A lot of the psychology of the sexual turn on for women is in the anticipation of things. Everyone's kind of wired that way, but women even more so. So you need to tease, you need to slow down. You've heard of foreplay, but this is more, this extends beyond that before you even get into the bedroom. You really want to make her anticipate it. And when you do get down to the act, you want to be really slow, going slowly down her body and kissing and teasing her. I'm not going to be too graphic in this video. I've got one in the Bulldog Mindset membership. If you're not a member, that goes a little bit more into detail on this. But the point is, I think you get it, is that you want to be really, really slow and deliberate with your actions and really create this huge buildup. Now, if you do this, what's going to happen is that when you go down to town, you're going to find that it's going to be very easy to achieve the desired result. If you know what I'm saying here, it, it is a lot easier to do what I'm saying and go slow and have a lot less manual work than it is to just try and do this through techniques. So many people talk about techniques and all this stuff. Really, if you do what I'm telling you, it's going to make much more of a difference. Now, the second thing here is to use sexual talk. This is very similar to what, what I just said before, but you have to understand that women are wired differently than men. They really are. And the thing about this is that arousal is more in the mind. It, it's not visual images as much. So think about romance novels. Who reads romance novels? Women do. Why do they read romance novels? Because they like to imagine the scenario. So it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to use dirty talk, although that can be helpful as well. But you got to figure out what is the, the sexual talk that is going to turn the woman that you're with on. It might be dirty talk. It might be just talking about what you're going to do to her, talking about how much you want her, having her help anticipate or create a fantasy in her mind. If you read some of the books in women's fantasies, it's kind of crazy. A lot of guys' fantasies, you can imagine what they are. I don't need to tell you, but a lot of women's fantasies involve scenarios. They involve role play. They involve things like that, like a plot in their own sort of erotic fantasies. So if you think about it, that's why that, that talking, like that sexual talk is so important. Now, the third one I'm gonna give you really important here is get your equipment working. I gotta tell you, there are so many guys out there that have erectile dysfunction and they're embarrassed about it. I totally get it. What I did was I partnered up with the sponsor for today's video, which is Blue Chew. You can check out Blue Chew. There's a link down below. And what they do is they provide a solution, a really easy solution for this problem, which shouldn't be a big deal. A lot of guys have problems with you know erectile dysfunction every once in a while. I've had problems myself from time to time. It's nothing to be embarrassed about, but I realize it can be embarrassing, like going to the doctor, especially if you're young and trying to get a prescription and then are people judging you? They know what you're there for. So that's why Blue Chew, when they said, hey, we'd like to sponsor your video, I said, yeah, definitely, let's do it because it's awesome. I love the packaging, it's really cool. And it's a subscription service. Basically, all you have to do, click the link down below if you wanna check it out. You're gonna sign up and then you're gonna get a consult with a doctor online so you don't have to worry about going in and being embarrassed and all that. And then they give you this in the mail, this packet every single month, subscription service, and then inside here is these chewables. It's the same active ingredient that's in Viagra and Cialis, and all you gotta do is chew this. You don't even need water. This is something that, again, it doesn't have to be embarrassing, but you gotta get your equipment working properly, and it gives you some confidence to know that you've got something as a backup just in case that there's an issue. Again, like I said, it's not that big of a deal, but so many guys, they don't go and get this taken care of. So I urge you, if you had any kind of problem, if you're worried about this, just click the link down below Below, at least get the consult, check it out and see if it's going to work for you. And then worst case scenario, you've got something that you know that if you need it, you got it there for you. The next one is to be confident and take charge. Stop asking. Women hate it when men ask a hundred questions, if they can kiss them, if they can spank them, all of these things. Don't ask those things. You should be obviously smart about this and not do things that you're not supposed to do. But at the same time, don't ask. Just do what you want to do. Take command, take charge. Tell her what you want her to do. That is 
is a huge turn on to women is to be told what you want. You really want to go ahead and take charge. Go ahead and say what you want. Tell her to get on the bed. Tell her to take off her clothes. Tell her those things or just do the thing instead of asking for that thing. So many women have told me that this is what they want from a man. And, and believe me, this is, is very important. Again, it's so much psychological for women. It's, it's not the physical aspect of it. So the last one here, tip number five is be selfish. Most men suck in bed because they are trying too hard to please. Being a people pleaser is not good. It is not a formula for being masculine. It does not project the right image and it does not turn women on. It turns them off when you're just trying to be a please. And I know why you're trying to please is because you want to be good. But by trying to do that, you're actually achieving the opposite. So instead, be a little bit selfish. Go after what you want. Focus on your own pleasure. And what's going to happen is it's going to turn her on by the fact that she's turning you on so much and that you're enjoying it so much. That is going to be a way bigger turn on than any kind of mechanical thing that you're trying to do or you're, you're trying so hard to please her and worrying about her pleasure. Because what's going to happen is that she's going to stress about that. So you want to just take charge and you want to you know, be a little bit selfish in the bedroom and you'll see that it'll work a lot better for you.